Have you ever found yourself riding your Rebel 500 and you're saying to yourself, man, I wish my handlebars came back further? Well, I got the solution for you. These handlebars by Japanese company Kojima are what you're looking for. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to install them and my first impressions on them. So first things first, let's get started with the instructions. Yeah, I can't read that. <laughs> um, these are, I believe, the only instructions available. I don't believe there are any English instructions. These are in Japanese, of course, uh, since Kojima is a Japanese company. Um, I bought these on WeBike, by the way. Um, yeah, and the, and the pictures aren't too helpful either. <laughs> so probably throughout this, I'm probably gonna have to use Google Translate. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna locate these uh, holders for the wires here. You got two of them on each side. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pry tool. You're gonna get right here and they slide out forward. So you're gonna kinda get into a position where you can slide them forward just like that. See, just like that. You did the same thing to the other side. Next, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna remove your um, controls, like your, um, your switches, your clutch, your brake, and your um, other switches and your throttle. To remove your levers, you're gonna use a five millimeter hex key. You're just gonna loosen those um, bolts on both sides and just kind of lay those uh, towards the front. Just get them off the handlebars. For the switches, both sides, you're gonna use a Phillips uh, head screwdriver. And um, this one comes off pretty easy. It's this one that's kind of tricky, but I'll show you that in a second. And the screws for the switches are gonna be on the bottom in these two corners. So with um, these controls on this side, they just come right off. But you'll, um, if you try this, you'll realize that your um, throttle side is still attached to the bars. Well, that's because the throttle, of course, is attached to the bars. So with this side, you'll pull it this way. And it takes a little bit of work, so I'm gonna work on that. But um, eventually, you'll be able to pull it off. With that side done, uh, you now have all your controls off your bike. Uh, the next step I'm going to do is taking off the speedometer. Mine looks a little different than normal because I've done some modifications to it. Um, but, um, you know, you'll just take out these two bolts. It'll come right off. And it also, um, you might have to remove the plug in the back, but it's, it's pretty simple to do. But you might not on the stock um, speedometer. All right, so I've got the speedometer off. It's just kind of sitting here for now. Um, it mounts right here. Um, of course, um, yours will look different than mine, but uh, the mounting's still the same. The next thing you're probably gonna wanna do is to take this grip off. Um, some people use heat guns. I used an air compressor. Um, I took it off yesterday <laughs> just to make it easier on myself uh, to do this today. So um, mine should just pop right off. Um, still going to take some work. I'm going to get that off. And then um, the next part is taking off the bars. So I got the grip off. It is held on with adhesive. I uh, cleaned mine off yesterday. Just like I said, so it would be easier for me to do it today. But um, it is very difficult. <laughs> don't, um, don't get frustrated if you can't get it off. You know, just like I said, a heat gun maybe would work. Or um, I used an air compressor. It took a little bit of uh, work, but I got it off. Next, you're going to loosen these four bolts here with a six millimeter hex key and uh, that will free your bars from your bike and with those bolts out your handlebars should come right off just like that all right so with that your handlebars are off your bike now that brings us to the next part which is um the new bars uh the old bars are on top and you can see the bottom the new bars are on the bottom uh, you can see the difference between the two and uh, let's get those new ones installed all right so now it's time to put on the new bars uh, so as you can see i've already put them in the mounts um, and you want to get this kind of a ridged area as centered as you can on each side and then you're basically just going to follow the process in reverse and um one thing i am going to do is i'm not going to tighten down these top parts as much um, that way I can have a little wiggle room and I'm also going to install the speedometer last. Thank you. 
Also, I have the new bars installed, and let me tell you, that was something. That was way more difficult than I anticipated. But, um, yeah, there they are on the bike. Um, they are not matte black like the old bars. They are glossy, which uh, some people might not like. I don't really mind it. You know, I'm not going to, you know, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> but um, the reason I said leave uh, these loose is because um, you can adjust um, what angle you kind of want them at. I kind of have them set how I want. And um, some other things you can customize is um, you can move these um, the brakes um, wherever you want them. You know, you can move them a little further away, which is what I did. I like the way that feels more than um, having them closer. You know, you can get them at a good um, position you want. You can also angle these independently from the bars, which is um, nice. But uh, yeah, uh, let me get everything buttoned up and uh, we'll go for a ride.